former official at the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, John Limbert, presented his book Negotiating with Iran, Wrestling the Ghosts of History to Montgomery College students. John Limbert has been interested in Iran and its history since his own college student years. In that period of time, he married an Iranian woman and, as he said, became part of a wonderful Iranian family. Limbert is fluent in Farsi. He has taught in Iranian universities and was one of the 52 diplomats who were held captive during Iran hostage crisis in 1979. Limbert's unique qualities brought Iranian and American students together to discuss the current crisis in their countries and to find ways to break the lack of trust. I never saw an American you know, who is, has so much knowledge about an issue about Iran. And I was actually kind of disappointed about the, you know, some of the opinions that the student gave and the lack of knowledge that Americans have about Iran. As I did the research for the book, and what I've seen over the last 30-some uh, 30 30 some years is that uh, each side very often uh, has a mirror image, is a mirror image of the other. And very often what we accuse the other side of uh, is the same way that the other side sees us. Limbert discussed breaking the stereotypical image of the U.S. to Iran being the world's most arrogant country, and also Iran being the axis of evil to the Americans. Knowledge of each other's history and culture can help both sides to negotiate. Labeling guarantees failure, said Limbert. The American public, or especially students, since they're college students, and, you know, in the major of history and political science, if they can just focus on that, you know, Today's news, what's going on, not only in Iran, but in the Middle East, Egypt, Libya, Syria, Bahrain, all of these countries, they can have a better understanding about the region. Because in Iran right now, uh, we really follow the American news so we can have a better understanding about the other side, since these two regions doesn't have a, you know, official relationship with each other. I don't think anybody in the world, you can find anybody else in the world that loves America, American culture, as much as Iranians. If the people of America get to see that what that how much the Iranians love them, I think that's a way to get to you know mutual respect and better understanding. As people seek friendship and mutual respect, their governments, John Liebert explained, are driving their policies for more than 30 years on the road to nowhere. Introducing his experience to the students and dedicating the book to future American negotiators, Limbert hopes for positive changes in the U.S.-Iran relations.